look, so I chose to wear this one. This is iconic for Michael Anthony, and it is his nativity stone pieces, oh, right in the center, encapsulated in all these pieces, and it does come with a certificate of authenticity. You get a stone from what is presumably the birthplace no, of Christ. No, it is indisputable. Okay, so <laughs> from the Church of the Nativity in Bethlehem, a stone that witnessed the birth of Christ right in the center, but now you're upping the ante, you're changing the designs. You've got a beautiful angel wing with a cross in this dim dimensional design, and then right in the center, the heart of this, that's yeah. a stone of the nativity. Anniversary price today. What a design. This is gorgeous, and you do get the 18 inch chain with the extender, so this chain comes with. Yeah. Wow. New, new, new. This new. is so amazing. I this love is, this one. Actually, it was sold once before it sold out, and we brought some back. But this is, when I say undisputable, what I mean is we're going to show you a video. Jesus was really born in a cave, and they knew the exact spot because from the day he was born, that's the entrance mm -hmm. to a cave that was similar. From the day he was born, people started making pilgrimages right. to that site. Well, over a 350-year period, you could imagine how many people visited the site. Then Pope Constantine decided to build the Church of the Nativity. That's the actual spot, mm -hmm. because the, the cave started out. It was only like a 20 by 30 room. Right. And as more and more people came to the church, they had to constantly make it bigger and bigger. Right. Well, there was a man, his name was Stanley Slotkin. He was amateur archeologist. Mm. He was the inventor of party rentals. <laughs> Back in the 30s or right after World War II, mm. he started a business with party rentals, chairs, tables. He became a millionaire in California. His hobby was doing excavations. Right like an archaeologist. Anytime he came across anything that had to do with the church, he would go to the church. One day he saw them opening up the doorway from right where that star is, 20 feet away, because they built an entire other building. And he asked them, what are you going to do with those stones? They said, bury them on the site. We don't do anything with them. We, we're they're sacred. Them. Sure. We keep them here. He said, I've done you a lot of favors. Why don't you give me these stones? And there's the first nativity cross. Wow. I'll bring them back to California mm -hmm. and I'll use them at charity auctions in a way to raise money for mm -hmm. good causes. Because he also did operations on people with cleft palates and things. Mm -hmm. So they gave him the stones. In the year 2000, the Vatican made the nativity stone the Jubilee Stone. Mm. Uh, and, and so what a, pr I mean, you can't, you can't uh, ever replace this. You can't even travel to the Church of the Nativity and pick this up. And then on the uh, on the reverse of that, you've got from my favorite Psalm 91, you've got right there, take a look, he will command his angels to protect you wherever you, you are. go. Wow. This is sculpture. This is a work of art that is detailed. It